Hey everyone, welcome to this week's trials video. I know you're excited. I hope you're excited because I'm excited. Just kidding. So trials this week is August 4th, 2023. The weapon this week is Exalted Truth. This is the last time to pick up one of the best 140s in the energy slot. It will be going away next season. Barrels to look out for would be hammer forged and fluted barrel. Magazines, Accurizer, or Flared Magwell. Now for your traits. PVE, first column, the only really good thing would be Outlaw. Uh, second column, Repulsor Brace and Rampage or Frenzy. Now for PvP, maybe Under Over, because Under Over does 20% increased damage to those that have Overshields in PvP. Also, there's Killing Wind and Outlaw. Killing Wind gives you like 20 range and a bunch of stability and whatnot, and it can be really good. The only issue is, it's a kill perk so you have to get a kill for it to actually take effect something like under over will just always be in effect and if somebody has over shields you can take advantage of it now second column for pvp would be encore or eye of the storm encore with headshots gives increased range and with body shots gives increased stability so you get bonuses if you get kills it is really good for sixes. I have the storm. It's just an all around good perk. It increases your target acquisition and aim assist while your health gets low. It is actually a really good perk. Now you might look at that and be like, these perks are kind of underwhelming. Yeah, the perks on this or traits on this gun is pretty underwhelming. So masterworks I'd be looking out for would be range or handling in PVP or range and reload in PVE. This hand cannon has a lot of range. It maxes out about 34 meters. That might be subject to change next season so don't take my word on that but if you want something with great handling it can do well in that department also again hand cannons are receiving a buff next season and a pretty nice one at that so picking up a solid void hand cannon is good so the map this week Oh, it is better than Vostok or Cathedral, but I will not lie to you guys, it's still going to be a tough map. I really haven't played on this map with Trials, and if I have, it has been a long time. But what I do know about this map is it is a close, very close range map. For shotguns and fusions you can make use of snipers but i wouldn't advise it because a lot of time with snipers people become tunnel visioned and they don't see people flanking and this map is so easy for flanking and they'll sneak up behind you especially that invisible hunters who sneak up behind you and you know insert no i mean shooting you in the back and this map does have verticality so you're going to be dealing with people above below and you're going to be dealing with flanks and all of the that but one thing to point out there is no map so i'll have to walk you through the map and what you know is good on this map so for trials one of the spawns is right here on me you, instead of spawning up there where you normally do you spawn down here now this is where one of the points is we're going to call this point top point i don't know you can call this whatever point like i said there's no call out maps for this map so what i've noticed is people ignore this and this and they all run to the center to shoot at each other and realistically on this map that's all people are going to be doing so don't expect your team to be going after the point especially if you're playing solos they're going to be going after these points the point spawns down here so power positions you probably just want to get here first or go take the fight in the middle and win the fight in the middle. So now second point is where B point normally spawns on control where this heavy ammo is. It spawns right here. An easy place to cover this would be from in here or on the opposite side. But like I said, a lot of people are just running around this map trying to ape and get shotgun or SMG kills. So be aware of that. And then or final point is literally right here. It's kind of offset from the center. It's kind of basically the same as that point. You have a little bit more routes to go and longer lines of sight. But honestly, like I said, majority of the fighting I've seen happens inside of here. Everybody runs to the center and shoots at each other and then somebody comes out on top. So now for final spawn, the final spawn is here. Like I said, a lot of people run to the center, shoot at each other, and that's a majority of what goes on on this map. There's not a lot more to it. 
like I'd, I'd like to give you guys an in-depth guide, but this this map is going to be the map of the apes. That's what I mean by map of the apes. This map is so close quarters that you're going to be running into shotguns, SMGs, sidearms, fusion rifles, the works of close range weaponry and close range subclasses that people are just going to be sprinting around the map. So we're going to start off with the hunter. Hunter subclasses that will be good on this map will be Strand will be really good for the diving suspends. It is really easy to get in positions where you can hide around corners or bait people to corners and suspend them. Stasis will be really good because stasis dust field nades will allow you to control hallways and prevent people from pushing or just stomp somebody in their tracks. Young Arkmar Spines with the Solar Hunter is going to be really good because there's a lot of walls to throw your art Young Arkmar Spines up onto. Not a shortage of that and I would highly encourage you to take advantage of that because it is the easiest subclass to play to get the most value from invisibility is going to be so good on this map so good with it being such a close range map and your invisibility shortening your radar range you're going to be able to take advantage of the fact that you don't have to close a lot of distance to get to people take advantage of invisibility arc might be the only iffy one because arc hunter isn't that strong but you can take advantage of the slide melee, the Tempest Strike, you know, throw down hallways as like a wave frame grenade launcher and hit them for a good amount of damage. Like I said, most all the Hunter subclasses is going to be really, really good for this map. Now on to Titan. Titan, Titan, Titan. Titan's a rough one because again, you run into the problems. Sunbreaker could be really good just from burn damage and people being close quarters, but you're never going to get your super. Especially on this map, the rounds are way too fast for you to get your super. Berserker, yeah, you can close off choke points with like glacial grenades and you do get the little speedy slide and all those things, but Stasis has been kind of nerfed into the ground for Titans and Crucibles, so be wary unless you know what you're doing. Strand Titan could be good because you get the suspends with your barricades. Just be aware everybody's going to be moving fast and jumping around, so it might be hard to secure them suspend targets. Arc Titan is always a good choice. There's lots of walls to put your lightning grenades on. You get a lot of speed. You're really fast. You're hard to deal with in close quarters. Arc Titan's known as the class that you do not take in a close combat 1v1 because of knockout. If you are Arc Titan, rejoice because this map was built for you. Void Titan could be really good because of overshields, but I would just be aware you don't have a lot of neutral game other than overshields. And if somebody closes the gap, then you're going to be in trouble, but you can still take advantage of it. On to Warlock. Well, is going to be really, really good on this map because you have a lot of speed, get around the map fast. You won't be able to float lock as much on this map, but you can take advantage of just being able to Icarus dash around everywhere. And your grenades are not half bad for this map, so take advantage of it. Art Warlock will be really good with the slide melee because everybody's in close quarters and usually in close proximity and you can chain lightning between them. Void Warlock is going to also be really good because of Child of the Old Gods. If you can get it to go and close off a whole area of the map and they're focused on that rather than you, then you can take advantage of it and shoot at people. Your rifts are also really strong on this map. Strand Warlock will be really good because of all the threadlings. Not a lot of distance that they have to travel and they are really good at flushing people out or forcing them to focus on the threadlings rather than you. Really strong build there. Stasis also is very good. Again, not a lot of distance where your stasis melees and grenades have to travel. So you can take advantage of that as well. So pretty much most subclasses in the game are pretty viable on this map just because of the close quarters nature. That's the thing with close quarters maps. Anything that range would generally nerf is not applicable because you don't have to close the distance as much as you would on another map, like say Eternity or Vostok or Cathedral Dusk. You could take advantage of the fact that you do not have to do that. Finally, weapons. Well, weapons are going to be really good on this map. You're going to be looking at Immortals. Uh, it's time to dust off your sidearms that maybe you didn't use. Stuff like Drain. Rapid Fire sidearms will be really good on this map. You also got all your shotguns, Imperial Decree, and all of those things. There's a lot of things that can be viable on this map because of the short range and some of the long range. So just be wary of that. It's really user's preference on this map because of uh, how close quarters it is. But just remember, you probably need at least one thing that can deal up close. Otherwise, you're just going to get aped on. 
And that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy Trials of Osiris and you guys go flawless. Let me know if you did or if you didn't, what you had troubles with. And again, I'm sorry I didn't have the map callouts for this map. I couldn't find the map anywhere, but I hope this was good enough. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in and make sure you to like and subscribe. And I will see you all later.